And with the thumbs up, it is drivers behind the lines. We begin in three, two, one, go! Autonomous gets started right away. It looks like we might go two for three over on the Red Alliance with the preload game pieces over on Blue. It looks like we've got one of those preload game pieces. Ponage, though, might be going back for another. They've got a cube in their possession up on that loading station as time expires, rather, charge station as time expires in Autonomous. Lindblom Electric Eagles did cross that center line during Auton, checking in on our score situation coming out of Autonomous. Score of 27 for the Red Alliance, 20 for the Blue Alliance as these robots get to work right away here in Teleop. In the center of the field, we do see Q Branch picking up a cube from the floor. They're going to cross back into their community with that cube. It falls out of their grasp, but they can collect from the playing field floor. So Q Branch gets that cube back. Their alliance partner, Ponage, just now placing a cube up for five points for the Red Alliance. It looks like the Red Alliance so far has earned one link. That's a five point bonus. We are also looking at the status of the cooperation grid. In this match, we will see 43-27 currently disabled for the Red Alliance. They're going to be right in their community zone for the remainder of the match. Checking in on the Blue Alliance Team 2013 Cyber Gnomes. They've got a cube in their possession, a quick collision with their alliance partner New Berlin Blitz as New Berlin moves in to grab a cone from a human player behind the playing station wall. New Berlin looking for that cone or cube. We've got just over one minute of match play remaining. Red Alliance does have the lead and two links for the Red Alliance. Only four needed for this match. That threshold has been lowered by the status of the cooperation grids in the center of the grids on each side of the field. Those center grids in the community need three playing pieces. If those three game pieces are appropriately scored in the cooperation grid, instead of needing five links for a ranking point, both alliances only need four links for that ranking point. Red Alliance is trying to make their way there. We've got another cone in motion on behalf of Team 2830 Riverside Robo Tigers. With 30 seconds remaining in the match, we are going to check out the status of these charge stations on both sides of the field. Blitz for the Blue Alliance, trying to get balanced and engaged on that charge station. Cyber Gnomes might be joining alongside them. 15 seconds, that is plenty of time. Lindblom's going to be hanging back for a moment as well. New Berlin might try to balance it on their own down to the final five seconds of the match. Two, one. Ponage and Riverside able to engage right as the match. The Red Alliance. They're going to take home three paint ranking points as well for 28 points on the charge station. High score of 118 to 63.